state where the redistricting commission met to vote on new congressional maps. Did they make any major changes? Our New York Capitol correspondent Elise Klein has our story tonight. Following a decision from the state's highest court in December, the New York State Independent Redistricting Commission is drawing up new congressional maps. Today, the commission voted in approval 9 to 1. This is a, this is a wonderful result. Despite whatever either one of us might think of the shortcomings of the map individually, it's a wonderful result for the people of the state of New York. Vice Chair Nesbitt also says the map is more than 90% similar to the current one. There are 16 changes to the maps out of the 26 congressional districts, the biggest changes appearing to be in District 22 in central New York. When one change is made, it, it drives changes elsewhere, and you can see that in this map. It, it, uh, even though it may not be obvious what triggered the change, it might have happened far away, but it ripples across the state. The congressional lines currently in place were drawn by a court-appointed special master after the legislature's drawn maps were ruled unconstitutional in 2022. The legislature's maps were rejected by the court after they failed to come to an agreement in time with a set of maps drawn by the commission established by a constitutional amendment in 2014. A long process in the making, the commission chair says it was worth it. One of the things that this set of legislation required is, com is compromise and cooperation. And that is give and take. That means that it's give and take. Right? And that process is absolutely worth it for the state of democracy and for, for fair and balanced maps. After the vote today, the new maps now go to the legislature for approval. In Albany, Elise Klein, Erie News Now. 